Hello again. Yes, I'm trying to take, trying to try my hand at doing multiple videos in one day and then uploading them one at a time because we're doing Gotham. Gothamus. I am not retaking this. <coughs> Vlogtober. I'm getting ahead of myself. That's what happens when you work in retail. Christmas pops up too quickly. You start thinking Christmas before you want to. Okay, as I mentioned earlier, I did a small haul from Walmart again. This brand is called Dan D. Collector's Choice. And, of course, it's got the Walmart Halloween plush tag on it, which means they're probably with Walmart. And it is a knockoff on, as you can see, Squishables. So this is a knockoff Squishable, essentially. This is the bat. I will probably post a picture of him to the various different bat sites I belong to. So I'll make a separate picture with him. And he's soft and squishy, but I don't like these. This is, like I said, it feels like cardboard. I like having pillows on my bed. When you're by yourself, I don't have a fur baby at all right now. Fuzzy animal, whatever. So, I like to have, an, you know, stuffed animals on my bed, you know. Especially when it's cold and it just feels good to cocoon, you know, kind of pile stuff. But he is freaking adorable. And as I said, there is a ghost, but he's shaped. He is shaped too much like the poop emoji, so I didn't want him because... E. No thanks. And we got S Spider. He's a pretty little blue eyes and a little smile. And again, as you can see, the material is very cheap. It's not as good as Squishables. I have yet to get a Squish Mallow or a Marshfellow. Those are both on my to-do list which grows so big, I will probably never be able to get everything I want before I die. <laughs> and most of it will probably go out of existence before then. So to that end, I will get as many as I can. Which reminds me, I'm still going to get the Nicotine Stain Nail Polish. I think it's Lunatic Cosmetics Lab. I'm not sure I'm going to keep poking around for that, and I will get it. I promise. Because I don't usually do yellow nail polish, but there's something about that color that just looks... So freaking amazing. But yeah, I'll be blue-eyed spider. And I saw this on one of the Halloween groups that I belong to. I've got way too many groups I belong to on Facebook. Just like I have way too many subscriptions. I have too much time on my hands. Well, actually, I don't. But I have no social life. So, besides from going to a bar once a month. We'll help me to remedy that. This is the vampire mouth. Different various different expressions with red spots and that's also made by Walmart of course or made for Walmart let's see it's I don't know but it's made in Haiti <laughs> that's definitely interesting and of course I wouldn't be me without getting something for my hair even though I'm trying to do a Mohawk, so it's not spiked, but it's sort of like a sort of a, I don't know, Celtic or most likely a Viking style. So I'm almost all forehead, so I may as well just go with something that looks good with my half bald head. But bows are still a thing. I'm not, you know, this is easier for me with my shoulders, my arms, my hands, and my elbows being arthritic and other assorted problems. I don't have to comb this. <laughs> I do have to still comb this, and periodically I have to literally have to, I kid you not, have to lift my arm to comb my hair. So having all that hair here and trying to be all pretty with it is not working well for me. And I tried, as you know, I tried having bangs to hide this massive forehead, which keeps getting bigger the older I get. But because of the eye mites and dust mites and also the gnats 
the float on at work and periodically in my apartment bangs against my forehead to them it's like oh it's a it's a forest it's like a grassy lawn or something and it's attracts unwanted things that's just kind of gross and it makes my forehead feel itchy and tingly and just really weird so eyebrow eyebrows yeah eyebrows yeah that too <laughs> I, I shave like i said i shave my eyebrows because i might as soon as I, my eyebrows grow back, they come back because they like to live in the follicles, I guess, of the hair and the eye area and stuff like, therefore, things like to live in my forehead as well, apparently. So bangs just are not my friend right now because they invite things that I don't want to deal with. Not to mention my skin is just hypersensitive and... Right now, the hair touching my forehead tickles, which gives me the creeps as well. It's just, I don't know, just some things with my nerves are just shot. So, no bangs right now. They're cuter. I look better with bangs. <coughs> I look less like an old man with bangs. <laughs> but we're just going to go with what we can. So, yeah, but I'm still going to do bows. I don't have the hair to pull them back with and make it all look cute, but... When I do my comb fat mohawk, I will, it's like the, the, the irony, basically. I'm doing like, you know, a hair tie mohawk with a random girly looking bow. So, these are cute. And these are more like doll eyes. These aren't as scary as the evil eye that I have with the bow and the feathers and stuff. This is just kind of cute and creepy. And that seems to be the theme this year with Walmart and a lot of things is cute and creepy. So many Rugrats and Nickel, you know, just Nickelodeon in general, and overdoing Nightmare Before Christmas. Nightmare, Nightmare Before Christmas was cool when it was just a few people who enjoyed it, and now I've, like everything else, has become mainstream. And because it's mainstream, it's just not as much fun as it used to be. It's too easy to get stuff, and the quality is not there. Like it used to be. The quality of the stuff that you can get is not what it used to be. So, which that's why, you know, the quality just the last few years I've been doing Halloween video hauls. If you check my check my videos, you'll see. It's like there was a, a toward the beginning, first couple of years, it was great. All kinds of fantastic stuff, fantastic stuff. There is still some, but not as much as there used to be. And also, I couldn't go as early as I used to because I have more bills added and more expenses, it's, you know, it happens. When you get older and you're an adult, bills happen. You have to budget a lot tighter. So like I said, I'm trying, I originally put this as geek, geeky goth on your budget. And I dropped through that part, but I do still emphasize the on the budget as much as possible. I am. You know, Small businesses, etc. We're going to visit that at another time. This is just me being tired and rambling, and this is my third video I've recorded today. But that's my Walmart haul for this time. Again, I'm they're cute, but the quality is not there. It's a knockoff on Squishables, essentially. They you know they could have done fabric, but they did this cheap freaking monstrosity of car cardboard felt and the ears are the same way it's rough it's not even smooth um this is not bad but it could be better and these are yeah they're okay it's just not up to standard as far as i'm concerned for halloween merch it's cute but not it's not what it used to be so that's my take on this haul. I'm rambling. It's over nine minutes. I will see you guys next time. But as I said in previous videos, I am going to go to Total Wine at some point and pick up all four Elysian pints and give you a review of each one, starting with the pecan because I know I have not done that one here, and then we'll backtrack from there. <coughs> and we'll try to do other things besides the beer. 
I've already uh, got a video in the queue ahead of this where I'm reviewing a pumpkin cream pie. Um, so this is the third video. So let's just go before I get too loopy because I am very tired. I've been up since four o'clock this morning. Ooh, it's my Friday. I will see you guys next time. I love you all. Please check my videos out. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the bell if you want to see more of this old bat do some weird stuff. See you later.